guys, it's me again. This is all in with MJ Hawari. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. To those people who didn't yet subscribe to my channel, please click down below the subscribe button and the bell button in order for you to receive a notification the upcoming videos that I will upload. Thank you so much. And guys, listen. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to cook sati. Okay? Before further ado, how the sati created? The history of sati. What is sati? In other country, they call it sate. In Malaysia, they call it sate. Indonesia, they call it sate. And in the Philippines, we call it sati. So there are different types. In Sambonga, we have one of the best sati. And Holoanos loves to cook, uh, loves to eat sati. This is why some Bongenios and Holoanos loves to eat sati. And some of my friends from Manila, from other country, they try this sati. A few moments later. What is the history of sati, sate, or sate? Sate, sati, or sate is believed to have originated in Java but has spread to almost anywhere in Indonesia where it has become a national dish. It is also popular in many other Southeast Asian countries including Philippines, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, and Vietnam. A key feature of Thai satay is the inclusion of pork as a meat option and Thai style peanut sauce. Meanwhile, Indonesian satay is often served with kepap manis, a sweet soy sauce. So there you go guys, that's the history of satay. We are almost near to our destination to buy the ingredients in the supermarket. Finally, we arrived now here in the supermarket. Yay! So I'm so excited to buy the ingredients. Let's go, guys! The Indonesian and Malaysian version of sati is known as sate or satay. Sati is also breakfast meal of the local residents in Sambuanga, the Asia's Latin city in the Philippines. In Sambuanga, sati shops sometimes open up as early as 4 a.m. and by the around midday, they are closing for day. Although the sati in Malaysia is similar to the regular barbecue. The sati has only three small strips of roasted meat on a stick. The meat can be made or come from beef, liver, or chicken. So we just arrived now back home guys and we're just gonna prepare everything so stay tuned a few moments later so let's start first marinating the chicken meat and the chicken liver so i prepare a chicken and I slice it into small pieces and a chicken liver this meat will be marinated overnight and I prepared some ingredients like ground pepper, chili powder, ketchup, soy sauce, chili, ginger, garlic, lemon, oil. So the ketchup and soy sauce mix it together and add some seasoning sauce as well. So all the ingredients will be mixed up in one big bowl together with the meat. And we will marinate it over a few moments later. So after marinating the chicken meat and liver overnight, instead of using barbecue griller, I'm going to use the oven griller and turn the heat into 270 degrees Celsius and cook it around 25 minutes. So what I did, I just spread the meat in the foil. So there you go guys, 
Leave it for 25 minutes. Voila! Look at that. After 25 minutes in the oven. <laughs> so guys, this is the tricky part. We're going to make the sauce right now. So the ingredients will be 5 cloves garlic mince, 1 medium onion dice, 2 thumb size ginger dice, 2 thumb size turmeric mince, 2 pieces tomato slice, 2 inches long lemongrass slice, 5 pieces Thai chili pepper mince, 10 grams or 1 pack of anato powder or achuete, 2 chicken cubes, 1 cup brown sugar, half cup flour, 1 third cup cornstarch, 1 tablespoon of chobi sauce or fish sauce, 1 tablespoon honey, half tablespoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of seasoning powder or liquid seasoning, 1 tablespoon of curry powder, and 1 tablespoon of black pepper. So let's uh, prepare the pan and saute the garlic, onion, ginger, turmeric, lemongrass, chili, pepper, and tomatoes and blend it for 10 seconds or 15 seconds if you want to add more chili you can add more chili it's up to you but for me I love a little bit spicy after you stay the ingredients leave it for around 10 minutes to cool down the ingredients you may now prepare the blender and put all the ingredients inside the blender and blend it all together until it will become soupy texture look at that it's almost done and yeah there you go So when you're done blending all the ingredients, and now we're gonna prepare a mix, one cup brown sugar, half cup flour, one third cup cornstarch, half tablespoon salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of curry powder, 10 grams or one pack of anato, Ashuete powder, 1 tablespoon of seasoning powder or liquid seasoning, then add 1 liter of water. And you can stir it. And add also the blended ingredients to the boiling water. Then drop 2 chicken cubes. You can add as well liquid seasoning and stir it again and pour the mix ingredients and add one tablespoon of honey and tablespoon of achobi or fish sauce. Keep stirring while boiling for five to seven minutes. So this super delicious mouth-watering sati is made with super simple savory chunks of tender grilled beef, kebabs, or tender chunks of chicken meat, chicken liver. It is eaten together with rice or bread, coconut leaves, soaked in a classic mandarin red colored spicy sauce traditional. Sati is a favorite Mindanao common brunch food in Mindanao, Philippines, and it's always hit with local residents. The best brunch recipe everyone will enjoy. So there you go guys. This is the finished product of Sati. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And I would like to thank my cousin Fritz and my niece Muzaiba for helping me to gather all the ingredients and helping me as well to cook. So guys, if you want another dish to cook, please comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell button 
in order for you to receive an upcoming interesting videos. Thank you so much guys. Love lots. Mwah.